G'day Blender Sculptors, very excited today because we are starting development on Creature Kitbash 2.0. We've got some new features that we're looking at implementing and I'd like to show some of them off to you today. Can I introduce you to real-time remeshing? Now you might just be looking at this going, but Jamie, isn't that just a regular remeshed monster? And you'd almost be right, but although this looks like one final mesh, it's actually still made up of all of its individual parts. Let me show you. So if I just go to the outliner and grab the headpiece for a second and move it around, you can see that this final mesh isn't actually final at all. It can update and remesh dynamically in real time. And I can go and stick this headpiece literally anywhere on his body and it will rebuild the geometry on the fly. I don't even have to obey symmetry here. I can make him asymmetrical and I don't know, put his head on his arm if that's the sort of thing that you feel like doing. And it's not just his head, we can do this with any of his body parts. So if you don't like where the arms are, you can throw them backwards or something and have him do that little Naruto run or whatever. You can move his tail anywhere on his body. And you don't just have to be limited to the pieces that are already there. I can say, for example, duplicate parts and give him a double tail if I so wish. And you don't just have to use pieces that come from the creature kit bash. You can grab any mesh and remesh it in real time with this creator. You can create a blender primitive and you can remesh that. Or you can use any assets that you might have created personally or downloaded from anywhere else. You're not just limited to the creature kit bash parts. Once you've got your character set up and you've got him in the pose that you like, you can lock all of this down, jump into sculpt mode, and we can start sculpting on this guy immediately. Now, the only thing is that once you've started sculpting, you can't go back and repose it. At this point, it kind of becomes a destructive workflow. Now, you've probably heard me say in other videos that as powerful as all of this remeshing stuff is, I'm actually a big fan of using the booleans rather than remeshing. There's a certain level of detail that gets lost when you remesh and booleans allow us to keep that detail. So you can use the real-time remeshes to create and pose your creature, but then you can go back into Boolean mode and you can see that we've got that little bit of extra detail, particularly around like the mouth. We get to keep all of that. And all of this can still be moved around, like you've still kind of got this uh, parenting rig system going on. And when you're ready, you can just select everything, hit the union button, and that will drop us into sculpt mode. And this guy is now again ready to start sculpting on and he'll maintain all of that extra detail that you might lose if you were using the remesh tools. So this is one of the big new features that we're looking at adding and I'm pretty excited about this. Aside from it just kind of looking cool, one of the big problems mostly with booleans but also a little bit with the remeshing is that they do have a tendency to be a little bit unstable, um, particularly for beginners who may not understand all of the quirks of booleans. Sometimes you can get some really unexpected results or worst case scenario, you might even crash Blender. And I have to say, since I've been playing with this real-time remeshing tool, uh, because it allows us to see any mistakes we might make before we commit to that final Boolean or the final remesh, we can kind of head those mistakes off before we commit, which means it's incredibly stable, uh, a lot more stable than the uh, original Boolean tools have been. In fact, now that I think about it, I, I don't think I've had a single crash, at least not yet. Now, this is still a prototype. I don't want to make any ridiculous promises that it's uncrashable. Someone will always find a way to break it. But so far, it's been really, really stable for me. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you guys think is really cool, if this is something that you guys could get excited about. Because although we've put a lot of thought into this, actually implementing it into the add-on is still going to be a lot of work, uh, which will take time. And you know, admittedly, there are some additional costs that are going to be associated with that. If this is something that you get excited about, please leave a comment and let us know. As much as I personally think this is a cool feature, at the end of the day, I'm just one user. Uh, and this tool is being built for all of you. So please let us know what you'd like to see added. And don't just let us know about this particular feature. If you've got other feature requests or if you've found any bugs that we might have missed, now is the opportunity to let us know. And we'll try and include as much of that as possible in the next major update. I'll keep you guys posted on our progress, but for now, happy blending.